Welcome to Workspace 365 Update 3.0. My name is Mark Grasmeyer, Product Evangelist for Workspace 365. And today I'm happy to show you the new additions and improvements in our rebrand of Workspace 365. To start off, let's go ahead to the Workspace. Because the thing which I'm most excited about, of course, is our new look of the Workspace. We now have curved corners and as we want to bring together information, applications and documents in one central location, we allow you to now add more information. But we wanted to keep it clean, so we removed the tabs within the lifestyle and we replaced them with a drop down. That way you can add multiple social feeds, you can add multiple email boxes, you can add multiple, uh, yeah, multiple news sites. You can add your internal news, your external news, you can add mailings. So basically you can add anything you want to the workspace and it will keep clean because we gather everything within the same tile. And if you want to create multiple live tiles, of course you're allowed to do that. So this is also an RSS feed. But now you can choose if you wanted to have them separately or combine within one live tile. This is very important because we see more and more companies who are looking uh, to go to the next step. So at first we focused on simplifying access to applications and companies are now looking to simplify their stream of information as well. And they want to combine their internet and their workspace together in one portal. So now we allow you to do that by creating more information within the workspace by having your contacts in the workspace, but also by allowing you to integrate this app group within a different internet or portal. So either you integrate all your information within workspace and your applications, and we'll be adding more and more live tiles, or you do it the other way around. If you already have a existing workspace or internet, you can integrate the features of Workspace 365 using the embed URL. So the next thing I'd like to show you is how you can change the branding of the workspace. Because we've created a new workspace branding for ourselves uh, with purple color and pink color as it has a more modern vibe to it and it's also the color of creativeness. That's why companies like Disney use it and also for energy. Think of sport clubs like the LA Lakers for example. It's an energetic and modern color. But of course, not every company wants to use our branding for their workspace. So we allow you to quickly change the branding uh, either of your entire company or of a specific department or location of your company. So for example, a school group might want to have one branding set per location. You can now do that by clicking set as default branding. Uh, but first I want to show a new feature which allows you to also invert the colors within the workspace. You, so you can now have a white header with a colored profile button and you can have also white headers within your live tiles. And I will quickly show how to do it. You simply click set as default branding and you click on OK. And then you press done. And that's it. Now your workspace is in the new branding. You can also set it up for a specific group of users. But here you see the workspace is now all in a white header. And with the red, the tiles, live tiles, automatically change color as well. That's another feature which I'm happy to show you. So you can simply right click on a tile, you can click edit tile. And here you can select your header color or your primary color or a custom color, which you can pick using the color picker. Or you can use the default color, which is the Yammer color for this tile. And depends on what tile you're using, what color it is. So I will now set it on primary color and I'll save it. And you can do this also for uh, the inverted version. So with the color that is also automatically use the same colors, which I now selected. So I'll click a switch back to the other branding set and what you see is you also change the home logo within this set so you can really set it up for a specific group of users uh, you can do that here 
groups and users. You can add a group or a specific user to this printing set. When I use the default printing set again, click done, and there it is. So you can have multiple branding sets ready. Uh, for customers, it's good to have it when you have multiple locations. For partners, this also allows them to quickly create a new branding set when they visit the customer. And the live tiles will automatically change to the new colors which you selected. And when you have multiple demos for a customer, you just leave the branding set. You can simply click the branding set, click down, and you have the new brand. So that's really good. Um, and that's also feedback which we got from customers and from partners. So please, if you have any feedback for us, please let us know and we will get it in the next update. Next thing which I want to tell you is that we now support SVG icons. So you already noticed that these icons within the live tiles, they also changed color. So when I change this color to uh, the white header with the colored icon, the color will pick this color. So that's because it's a SVG. You can also uh, upload SVGs yourself to the workspace, like for example this Yammer icon, then it won't change the color, but at least it's clear on any device and it will lo won't lose its, uh, its scalability. So the next thing I want to tell you is that you can also um, flag emails and I will also show another great thing. Because when you have a white header, you now also have a white overview here and also in the document app. So the right side is now uh, has a white background, making it more clean. Um, but the email feature is really great because multiple partners told us like this is the only thing which we now miss, uh, which holds us back to use Workspace 360 I've email app all of the time. So instead of using that. So what you can do is you can select a message you can click on the flag and it's flagged it's a new feature so you can right click on it when you're on a desktop but when you're on a tablet you can use this one to flag or unflag an email it will automatically take the flagging from exchange so it will also be synced across all your devices uh, when you flag an email on your mobile phone or on your desktop outlook it will also be flagged in your workspace so that way if you switch between devices you always have your emails and your flagged emails together you can also filter them more easily now so you now have an unread filter and a flagged filter on the red right side you can sort them by date from to subject so that's also improved I will also show you the document app because that looks really great. And you might have so noticed that we replaced the office icons because we closely monitor Microsoft and they changed their icons. So we updated them in the workspace, also in the live tile to match Office 365 so that when you're working in the local applications, people don't get confused that it's different icons on their device than in their workspace. Of course, you can also upload the old icons and use them for your documents um, within the tiles, but not within the document app itself. Um, but what I wanted to show is that you now have more clean design, so you have a white uh, background here. And this looks really great when you have a white header as well, because you get a really clean design. And we're still working on this left side pair as well, so it will improve also in the coming updates um, because we want to make it easy for people to switch between their file server and SharePoint in their OneDrive and to uh, move documents between these locations. But we also want to keep it all in the same interface to make it more easy for people to get used to this new way of working uh, without having to learn multiple new tools like SharePoint and OneDrive and File Server, etc. We all combine it in one. Next thing which I like to tell you is that we now also support password with a length of 256 characters which also helps you to improve the security of your organization by making your passwords harder to hack. It also matches the security uh, of Office 365, which they have as a password policy uh, with Azure. And of course, you can also use Azure for the entire authentication of the workspace.
One more thing which I'd like to tell you, I cannot show it now, but you can look it up for yourself, which is really great, is we've improved the scrolling on your Android device. So when you go to your workspace on your Android device, I would recommend setting it as a uh, desktop icon on your mobile phone, allowing to get quick access to the workspace. But when you scroll in it, it now scrolls more smoothly than before. Uh, and we did it because we see the uh, usage of mobile devices increasing. So each uh, month we analyze the data for mobile device usage and we see it getting up 1% each month. Um, so I would recommend uh, checking this feature out and also discussing it with the people within your organization if they use workspace on their mobile phone and also if they have other improvements uh, for the mobile phone usage. And if you do, please let us know because we are happy to change it. Next thing which I'd like to show you is um, a part of our rebrand. Uh, I also showed you the new colors, but I also want to show you our new website because we have more information and we made it more visible for you to find out what Workspace 365 is and what it can do for you. So when you head over to product, you have these sections which allow you to get more information on each subject. And also you can go to white papers to download the What's Workspace 365 white paper, which includes everything about Workspace 365. And of course you can get notifications of new updates and blogs. Uh, I already have them, so I'm clicking no. I would advise to click yes, of course. And when you have any more questions about setting up a workspace, you can always go to our support portal. Uh, to find out more about the workspace, so it's support.workspace365.net. And here you also can click on announcements, and latest announcements, and you can click on follow and you will automatically get emails uh, from new announcements, which are usually placed one week before the update, uh, allowing you to have some time to discuss it with your colleagues and to if yeah, maybe update documentation if necessary uh, but we also show the update within the workspace so we never make really big changes which impact everyone uh, if we do make such a change we communicate it before words but um, we like to move ahead in small sprints uh, to allow people to adjust to the new and i think this uh, update was the biggest one uh, since times in which we curved the corners, which might uh, get the attention of people, and in which we replaced the tabs with a drop down. Uh, but further than that, it's just UI improvements and uh, work which we do to allow you to get a more modern workspace and even a more modern workspace in the future, because we will allow you to add more live tiles with information from third party applications. So another thing which I'd like to tell you, which we are very proud of, is that we are now also, uh, we already were a Microsoft Gold partner, but we are now also Citrix ready. So you can integrate your Citrix virtual apps within Workspace with single sign-on. You can also find us in the Citrix ready marketplace. Uh, so I would like to share that with you. And the last thing which I'd like to ask you is if you have any feedback or questions, feel free to send me a message on LinkedIn or by email or contact your partner or customer uh, manager. And if you have any feedback for us, you can always go to our support portal. And when you scroll all the way down, click on feature request and submit a feature request. Because we do look at the support portal feature requests and we integrate them within the product. And I think the like 90% of the things which we create are based on customer or partner feedback. So please feel free to share anything you have. And I'm very happy to discuss it with the team. So thank you for watching this update. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel or subscribe to our newsletter. Follow us on LinkedIn and I hope to speak to you soon. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.